Hey friends, here at Seeker Based Design, we make a lot of iOS apps, primarily aimed at music making. If you've used iOS for any sort of music sort of thing, you know that there are lots of good sequencers, synthesizers, drum machines, all sorts of good stuff. And if you've got a MIDI controller, you can do actually a whole lot. So the app I want to talk about for a minute is Sidecar MIDI Controller. And the idea is to get the functionality that you normally have in a external MIDI controller, one of these big things, build it into the keyboard that you'd have for your iPad or your iPhone, just an ordinary Bluetooth keyboard. We're going to try to get same sort of same functionality, but make it portable. And so what I want to do is walk through some of the new things that are in version 1.7. The stuff's been added. So let's dive in and show you what it is. All right, so let's go over here and take a look at Animo. Really good app from Moog Music. You can obviously play it with the on-screen keyboard, but what I want to do is be able to use this physical keyboard and play the app. So, Sidecar comes up in slide over mode on iOS. Configure Danny Moog, and now I can use the keyboard. Turn your notes. Bottom two rows, laid out like a piano keyboard. And we actually have some pads and other things that I'm going to go through here. Animog is very configurable. So I've got here on my sidecar control ways to fiddle with the Animog filters. If you've used MIDI at all, you probably have a good idea how this works. You can program in chords as well, program change messages, all sorts of things. This is all MIDI. What's happening is keystroke happens here on the keyboard gets caught by Sidecar, and then a MIDI message is generated and sent to Animog. Because we've got a lot of keys on the keyboard, we can actually control a lot of synths. The QWERTY row here is going to select between 10 different pages. So right now I'm on Q, over, and we've got Sunriser. Sunriser is actually running in the background. And there it is. There's Sunriser. And now I've selected Sunriser as a MIDI output. And I'm playing Sunriser. Lots more you can do. I've got BS16i, sound plant player running in the background. One thing you do, you can shift, go up an octave. Got a few more. Let's see what else we got in here. Got gadget. And if you want, go back to Animog. So this is the idea is to make a very useful, very flexible MIDI controller. Use your conventional iOS keyboard. Keys get caught here in the sidecar app, relayed to whichever synth app you want. You can actually send MIDI to multiple locations. So here I've got Animog. If I wanted to, I could send a BS16i and a gadget all at the same time. Controlling lots of things all in one go. Additionally, there's a... Let's go, go back to Sunriser. There's a built-in on-screen keyboard and you can change scale. Let's uh, pick pentatonic minor. Pick. That's the on-screen iOS iPad version. There's also support for AUV3, which we'll talk about next. All right, now let's take a look at what you can do with the AUV3 plugin for Sidecar. What I've got here is AUM, which is a really nice audio unit host, um, really great mixer. And I've installed a couple of AUV3 plugins here. I've got Animog, uh, ISM, and also the L7 uh, Looper. All of this is MIDI controllable, and I've got Sidecar here installed in the MIDI channel. I can trigger a note from Sidecar and also use the physical keyboard. The 
QWERTY row in Sidecar is going to use, be used to switch MIDI channels. So I'll switch to MIDI channel 2. And I've got that routed to ISM. AUM has really nice MIDI routing features. Let's take a quick look at that. I've got Sidecar routing MIDI out of Sidecar into either the Animog or ISM unit. And you can select by channel. So this is how I'm picking which synth listens to which notes. Here I've got Animog listening just to channel 1. And ISM listening to just channel 2. That's how you do it here. So you can play multiple synths, switch in between them very easily, very quickly. And also send program change messages and things like that. And how about one more audio unit host? This is Loopy Pro, another really nice piece of software. And I've got Sidecar installed on a MIDI track. And also Animog Z, Model 15, Sunriser, BS16i, Reesemaker, and a few other things. Once again, we're going to use MIDI channels to select different synths and using the keyboard. And let's go to let's go to Animog. I'm going to press the W key, that's going to switch over to Model 15. In this case, I've got E uh, to Sunriser. Classic BX, BS16i, channel 4. And then I think Bruce Maker on uh, channel 5. Any of these MIDI synths, the AU V3 plugins, if they go in and you take MIDI, you can have Sidecar send MIDI to it. Also change the octave easily. And if you've got a looper that has MIDI control, you can program some of the keys and control your looper or whatever else you want. The idea is to make this as useful as possible. Do MIDI control of nearly everything. And the great thing about the AUV3 plugin, as long as it's open, it doesn't have to be in the middle of the screen. Drag it out to a corner, and you do all your work with the keyboard still <laughs> reacting to MIDI, MIDI keystrokes. Anyway, that's a quick run through of Sidecar MIDI Controller from Secret Base Design. It's available in the App Store. It'll let you do MIDI control in a slide over or split screen fashion on conventional iOS devices, or you can use it as an AUV3 plugin and control nearly anything with MIDI. We think you're going to dig it, and you should check it out.